Now to Maui. New developments in the case involving threats against Maui schools. Police have arrested a 13-year-old girl for terroristic threatening after a threat was made against Kalama Intermediate School. The girl is no longer in custody after being released to her parents. Police are also investigating threats against Baldwin High School and another middle school. Our Maui Bureau Chief Ali Dukalo reports. In an email, Principal Keone Wilhelm announced there would be more police officers here on campus Monday. A student I spoke with says the added security helped him feel safer. I was worried, but the officers and like the security guards are doing all their jobs and stuff like that, so I was more uh, comfortable in school. This student's parents wanted to keep his identity private. He tells me teachers at Baldwin High rolled out additional safety precautions in light of the written threat. When I go to different classes, they lock their doors and you have to knock and shout out uh, who you are to make sure you're, like, you're not a shooter or anybody else. Huh? So yeah, it's, it's a little bit it's more security now. Hundreds commented on this post from Baldwin High School's Instagram page, with many arguing the school should close down and some parents saying they were keeping their kids home. A letter from the Department of Education reminding students the penalties for terroristic threatening range from detention and dismissal to arrest and criminal charges. DOE also reporting the schools will remain open with heightened police presence and the threats are being taken seriously and investigated thoroughly. It's tough because, you know, these are children, you know, where um, that's getting affected by this. You know, a lot of them are, are scared, you know, and you know, we, we definitely don't want that for our children here in Maui. So, I mean, we're going to definitely take this seriously. The police department is also reminding the public to always report any suspicious activity. From Wailuku, Aali Duklo Island News.